We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Atlanta Braves and the St. Louis Cardinals. So striding forward now, Ozzie Albies. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Driven to deep right field. Running hard, he's digging for second. And that is off the wall in right field. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Batting second, the right fielder, Nick Markakis. At the plate, Nick Markakis. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Here's another one, too. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Fouled off. And oh, pretty nonchalant that time by Molina as that pitch gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The first base is number five. Freddie Freeman. Into the box now. Freddie Freeman. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. And now the Atlanta number four hitter, Ronald Acuna. And now the Braves look to put more across the plate in this opening frame. To two balls and two strikes now. Markakis stands at third with one gun in the inning. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is O'Neill. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2 0 game. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Pulls this one in the air out to left. O'Neill waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. Counts even at two and two to Wong. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. It's fouled away. A runner at first with no outs here. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Payoff pitch one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. The next to bat for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's one for three. The 1-1 one, one home is strike two swinging. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Hit hard to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. 
batting four. The third baseman, Matt Carpenter. Stepping in now, Matt Carpenter. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Fouled away. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Waiting on deck, there's Yadi Molina. And he fouls this one off. Pulled toward right center field. Marquecus has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Yanni Molina digging in now. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Now the 2 1 is outside for a ball. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Now with the play, Tyler O'Neill as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Digging in, Lane Thomas. And a great chance here for the Cardinals to add on in just the first inning. Fouled off. The set, and the 2-2. Two -two. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. The next to bat for Atlanta, Tyler Flowers. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The 1-1. Now a swing and a miss at the hard sinker, and they're back to even two and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Stepping in for the Braves, Charlie Culberson. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. 1-1. One, one. Oh, so far crazy. this season, Culberson has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. All even now, 2-2. Two and two. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Coming to the plate now, Austin Riley. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. The three one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. O'Neill waits on it. And the inning is over. And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader, has two hits in 11 trips for the series so far. And this will be fouled away. Now this pitch sails up and in, and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. Full count, three and two. One thing's clear, he's not afraid to pitch inside, right? 
One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly, this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Harrison Bader is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. This one's flared off to the right side. And Markakis will tuck this one in for route number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. It's fouled away. The one two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Tommy Edmond would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Fouled away. Hit in the air down the right field line. Markek is on the run. He's through first and hustling for second. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Into the box, Tommy Edmond throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Sean Newcomb, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Hitters count all the way, here it comes. He takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Trying to pick now things back. up where he left Looks off. Like Ozzy Albies will okay. try to follow up the okay. double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Digging in, Nick Markakis will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. A ball and two strikes. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get-me-over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. Leading off the inning, Paul Goldschmidt, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Digging for second is Goldschmidt. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The third baseman, number 13, Matt Carpenter. So now to the plate, Matt Carpenter. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the Catcher inning. Number four. Ready yeah, now, yeah. Yadier Molina reached oh, base via yeah. the walk in his first plate appearance. Line to the right side, but good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Man at second here with two away. Oh, and into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. A two to one score here as we play oh, inning yeah. number three. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Markakis has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Into the box, Freddie Freeman as we begin the top of the fourth. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Sitting in a good spot right here. 
two ball one strike count is yet to see a fastball have to be sitting on one right here stopped on the slide by Wong he oh. is out and that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base so the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Standing in, Marcelo Zuna. He flew out in his last at-bat. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Three balls and a strike to the Braves' left fielder. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Liner in there for a base hit. Now batting. Pepper. Tyler. At the plate now, Tyler Flowers. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Lane Thomas comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 1. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. Well, he came right back in there after he hit the previous batter. I like that. If you're going to work inside, you're going to hit a few guys, but you can't let that change your game plan. Another 2-2 offering. And he lays off, so it's full now, 3-2. and two. This would be an absolute terrible start to the inning. After drilling the first guy, you can't allow the second guy to reach base via the wall. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Acuna's there for it. One away. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher, Dakota Hudson. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. Bun attempt is popped into foul ground. He's set and the one two pitch. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. To second for one. On to first. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Now better. Here's Colton Wong now. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Strike three called and the inning is over. In now, Charlie Culberson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 3 2 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Payoff pitch one more time. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So stepping in, Austin Riley. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1 is laid off for ball two. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now. Three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Swung right over the top of that one is this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. Throw on to first, two gone. Ender Inciarte will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. 
Number 11, Ender Impiarte. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Full count to Ender Inciarte, three balls and two strikes. High and deep to right center. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he is in the second with a two-out double. The batter number one. Second base. At the plate, Ozzy Albies. And he takes a called strike two. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Albies is exactly a 400 hitter. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. And he fouls this one off. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Felix Hernandez, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Digging in the switch hitter, Tommy Edmond. He'll swing it from the left side right here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. Popped up, Freeman shading to his right, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. He doubled his last time through. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. The third baseman. Now the Cardinals' number four hitter, Matt Carpenter. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. So it was a swinging strike three. Matt Carpenter becomes the second out in the bottom of the fifth. A three and one pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Ozuna giving chase. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. Genesis Cabrera takes over to start now the sixth inning on the mound. Number 92, Pettison. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. He's one for two with an RBI double back in the first inning of this one. And Markakis lays off here. It's two and one. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. That's lifted the other way out to left. O'Neill waits on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now with the plate, Freddie Freeman 0 for 2 for him to this point. Low scoring game thus far, 2 to 1 here in the sixth. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Tyler O'Neill. He'll be the first to greet Felix Hernandez to start the inning. The one-two. Line towards center field. Acuna is right there, one down. 
Ready once again, Lane Thomas. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Digging in now, Harrison Bader. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. One run on three hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. John Brebbia will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Jairo Munoz is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. And batting nine, number 34. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. The batter. So striding in, Charlie Culberson. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Three balls and a strike to the Atlanta shortstop. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Here's a swing and a miss at the off-speed pitch. It's a full count now, three and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Two runs, four hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. This is on the ground over to first. Now batter, third baseman, Austin Riley. To the plate now, Austin Riley. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. The one-two. Is swung on and missed strike three. A Danny Echevarria is into the on-deck circle as it appears he will bat for Felix Hernandez here. Echevarria. Two men are on with two men out. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Echevarria brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Swing and he pops him up. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Your attention, please. So the call's gone out for the right hander, Mark Melanson, as he'll take over on the mound. Into the box now, Jairo Munoz. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ozuna is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Colton Wong. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Fielded cleanly, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now with the play, Tommy Edmond. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Melanson looks in. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Two out, nobody on. And 
good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Payoff pitch one more time. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Now better. Ready for another chance? Paul Goldschmidt. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. Working for the punch out and the offering. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Marcakis has a read on it, and that's the third out. Andrew Miller has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ozzie Albies will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Now batting. Stepping up to the plate, Nick Markakis. He's working on a one for three thus far. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. So he sets him down swinging. Nick Markikis becomes the first out of the inning. Throw over to the bag, and he just manages to get his hand in. Mm, just low with the slider there. That's ball three. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Thomas is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Jordan Hicks enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Ronald Acuna will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with the runner at first and two away. The 1-1 one, one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Fouled off. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Ball two. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. A.J. Minter is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 33, A.J. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Here's Matt Carpenter. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Striding in once again, Yadier Molina. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's evolved into a really, really nice offensive player. Now batting. Now at the plate, Tyler O'Neill. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Two balls and a strike to count. The ball hit out to Albies at second base. He's got it, and eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over.
John Gant is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Brad Miller is also into the ball game as he'll hit in the number eight spot here. Now playing left and batting eight. Number 15, Brad Miller. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Molina gathers. And he makes the throw to first. Ozuna is retired, and there's one away. Now back. Digging in to try it again. Tyler Flowers. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Maddie. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And that's the second out. Now batting. Ready for another shot now. Charlie Culberson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And it's fouled away. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Austin Riley would be next. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. Striding into the box, Austin Riley. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. A 1 1. Misses, ball two. This guy uses that two seamer to set up his other pitches. Two seamer in, breaking ball away. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Here now the 2 2. Hit hard down the left field line, but this is going to get fouled. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Struck him out. So it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swing. Will Smith comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Now pitching and batting in the eighth. Into the box now, Lane Thomas. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now playing third base and batting nine, number 23, Adam Duvall. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Hard liner to center field. But this will hang up a bit too long as it's taken in chest high for the first out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Brad Miller. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Drilled right back up the middle. On to first. And that means the Cardinals are down to their final out now. Now batting. Jairo Munoz. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. The win would belong to Felix Hernandez if the lead holds up. Cardinals down to their final strike here. Able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Count remains two and two. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And 
This ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. And he will put this one away. And the Braves have bounced back from losing the opener to take games two and three of this series as this one is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Atlanta jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Felix Hernandez earns the, the victory out of the bullpen, the his fifth. Will Smith the earns the save Atlanta out of the bullpen, Durant his twelfth of the season. Hit. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and